Hi, I'm Dylan. And I'm Ryan. And welcome to a special Halloween bonus episode related to our show where we review books and their movie adaptations. Normally, one of us reads the book and then watches the movie. The other one does it in the other order. But today, just for a bonus episode, we're doing a follow-up to our ring bonus episode. So we're talking about the book sequel Spiral by Koji Suzuki. And then a handful of movie adaptations yeah, and to we'll, the sequel. We'll get into that. Yeah. Do you want to talk um, about those? Yeah. So the book um, was written, this sequel was written in 1995 um, by Koji Suzuki. Um and it's the continuation of the first book, Ring. Um, uh, but it actually center around, centers around a different character, Ando. Uh, don't remember his last name off the top of my head. Dr. Ando. Uh, and, uh, uh, or if that's his last name. Whatever. Ando. They do it in a different order yeah. in Japanese. Um, uh, kind of centers around him picking up where the ring mystery left off. Yeah. Um, and it, right now it has a Goodreads score of 3.8 out of 5. 7.6 out of 10. Good score. Good score. Um, this was made into three different movies. Yeah. Um, and uh, the first um, was a movie called Spiral, at least the translation, Spiral, as oh. at like mm-hmm. the book, um, that was actually made at the same time as the first Ring movie, the first Japanese Ring movie, which actually... 1998? Spoiler, 1998's Ring, Japanese Ring mm. um, movie, because there's actually... Um, a, a oh. ring movie that I, I found uh, that was made before that in 1995, but it was a TV only movie. We didn't know about it. We didn't watch that for the we'll last bonus episode. Maybe we'll time. watch it sometime in the future. <laughs> see how that one is. But this one was made at the same time as the more popular movie Ringu ring mm-hmm. um, uh, from 1998. Both of them made at the same time, different directors um, that one was, I think, directed by Hideo Nakata, right? The first Does it sound one. familiar? The first one. Yeah. This one, Spiral, was written, uh, directed by uh, Joji Iida. Okay. That one is based off of the book. Yeah. Now, there was another movie that was made because Spiral, that movie, did not do well. Didn't perform well. Didn't perform well. So they decided to make a sequel to the Ring movie Yeah. based on just based the on movie the, and yeah. not the book, and they called it Ring 2 or Ringu Ring 2, 2 in the United States. Was that one directed by Hideo Nakata? That one was directed by Hideo okay. Nakata. interesting. So they got the original director of the first Ring movie. They had him do this, a sequel Just to that one. write a new movie based on the first movie. The first one, Spiral. Yeah. No ratings at all on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? Zero from critics, zero from the audience. Oh, okay. Um, testament to how much, how badly it was received, I guess. Ring 2, Ringu 2... Um, has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes with the critics. 0%. zero percent. And that's not out of zero ratings. That's how that like, means people reviewed it. People and reviewed it. it zero, it's got a zero. Basically. Um, oh. 51% with the audience. Wow. Um, cr- interesting, considering we go back to the Ring movie, it had a 97 with the critics and 81 with the audience. The and first it just, ring. Yeah, the first Ring. Um, critics Japanese. 97? Critics 97 to zero. To zero. You know, Yowza. and then just ignored. And Spiral. that was the better of the two at the second Ring movies in Japan, because uh, the other one had no. Better. Per, well, yeah, they, yeah, the, yeah, the other one has no ratings. Yeah, on yeah, Rotten yeah. Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Then, both of those movies were made before the American Ring, the Ring the movie, Ring. the first From one, two thousand two ish, something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. Uh, two thousand five, um, the Ring two was directed by Hideo Nakata. I noticed that in the credits. That's yeah, pretty cool. It is cool. <laughs> um, and that one's different. That's a, That one itself is just a, a continuation of, of the, the first American Ring, Ring movie. movie. Yeah. So like... Uh, not based not on Spiral, related. not based on Ringu too. Uh, yeah. That one has a 20% with the critics and a 33% with the audience. Which, crazy, because remember, the American one had a 71 with the critics, the first one. Oh. Uh. Which we thought was kind of high. I mean, I was surprised that that kind of a horror movie was that high with the critics, honestly. And it, and it was so lower with the, the audience, audience, 48. So yeah. I don't know. But anyway. Curious uh, case with these Ring movies. Yeah. So I guess we'll get into our ratings. Um, why don't you start us off there? With yeah. This, this I believe we, uh, we both did these in the same order. Yeah. So we'll go through in the same order. We both read Spiral first. Uh, so Spiral by Koji Suzuki, I gave a 7 out of 10. Then I watched uh, Ringu Spiral, 
um, the first Japanese sequel. I gave that one a 6.2 out of 10. Okay. Then, then I watched Ringu 2. Gave that one a 5 out of 10. Oh, okay. Lower. Then I watched The Ring 2. Gave that one a 5.5 out of 10. Okay, so that one's like a little bit above. I liked it better than yeah. the Japanese the second Japanese sequel. Um, s- somewhat similar, you know, ratings. I read Spiral. I actually gave that an 8.7 oh, wow. out of 10. So much higher. Um, even though I think you rated the first Ring book higher than I did. I did. Um, and uh, then Spiral, Ringu Spiral, I gave that a 6.6 out of 10. Oh, um, and then Ringu 2, I gave a 6.1 oh, okay. out of 10. Uh, and then The Ring 2, 6.8 out oh, of 10. Um, so Similar to the first Ring movie, right? For- yeah, I think I gave that a 7.1. Oh, okay. Uh, or no, I gave it a 6.9. So yes, very oh, close. Yeah, around the same. Basically the yeah. same. A little bit less. Interesting. Let's start with the book. Oh, wait. Spoiler oh, yeah. alert. Spoilers. If you care about that for this bonus episode, yeah. we're going to spoil three movies in a book. <laughs> yeah. So uh, skip to the end for the final recommendations yeah. if you care about that. If not, let's talk about spiral so even with spoilers though these are going to everybody's going to be so confused about which one what things (laughs) are in which of these four things that you're not even going to remember or anything anyway yeah if these get spoiled (laughs) for you i'm impressed good job (laughs) yeah Uh, Um, so you like spiral more than the first ring and you did too correctly oh no the books uh, the books yeah 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 i did like spiral better than the book um by quite a bit but I like the first book quite remember, a bit more. So here's the difference, though, is I we tried to, even though the last episode was a bonus episode because we'd both seen the American ring, mm-hmm. we tried to kind of do it in a different order. You read the book first. I read the book last after yeah. watching the American Two ring movies, and the yeah. Japanese ring. Then I was kind of like ringed out by the book, you yeah. know, and even so, I gave it a 7.5. That's a good score. Pretty good. But I gave the first one an 8.9. Yeah, so see, like, so... In the great category, almost. It didn't get great for me because it, the story was spoiled and I'd watched yeah. it twice. Uh, and it was just like, I was expecting horror. It wasn't. Um, it was more mystery. Um, yeah. So it kind of knocked it down a peg. This time, uh, I had never seen The Ring 2. I never saw it, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. as a kid. So it was a brand new story. So it was completely book. brand new from the book, from the get-go. Uh, so I liked it a lot more that way. And the book, I don't know. I really, I, I was getting some uh, Michael Crichton vibes from the oh, beginning yeah. of it because he's like trying to figure out the puzzle. He's doing the DNA stuff. Yeah, he's got the code to break. Yeah, and and like, it's, you know, the whole mutation thing yeah. uh, as the code. I was like, oh, that's really cool. Mm-hmm. It could have been higher for me. Where it lost me was I did not like the mutation part where um, like, when it mutated and um my gave birth to one ver- that was a little too far for me it jumped the shark i guess in oh, the yeah. mutation it gets pretty thing. crazy at the end yeah but uh yeah. that's funny because i kind of liked the ending more than the beginning for the book but here's my reasoning is i loved the first book yeah ring and then when the second one started i guess i was kind of hoping you would continue with asakawa uh as the main character like yeah. to see what happened next and then it was cool having a new protagonist with the Doctor Ando and the DNA stuff's interesting, but I feel like we had to relearn the stuff we learned in the first one through. That's true. Ando's they did kind of do that. So he I thought the pacing was a little off okay. at the beginning. I mm-hmm. was like, okay, I already know the tape thing. We don't need to learn yeah. it again. But I did like what it built to at the end with also like the reading the journal makes you get yeah, the virus Yeah, I like too. that part. See, those 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 kind cool. of mutation things are, are what I liked about it, how yeah. it changed that kind of bit. But I was looking for like, ooh, changed a little bit and just a tiny little bit. And then it jumped into and like, suddenly, yeah. like uh, yeah, my <laughs> watched the video while she was ovulating, right? Yeah, Is that what it yeah. was? And this, she became pregnant and gave birth to a Sadako yeah. clone, basically. <laughs> and then apparently now they just have the power to do that, to give birth to basically whoever they want. Because yeah. by the end of the book, they re- bring Ando's son back. Yeah. And they, because they, they also the redid another... Yeah. They yeah. have the DNA to be able to do mm-hmm. it. And they have another... Um, <clears throat> they bring Ryuji back. Yeah. Right? And so that's their plan, right? Is At the end of this book, 
and um and the spiral movie yeah spiral movie pretty close to the book yeah um good job in that and uh they're just gonna make a bunch of mai's and ryuji's or just a bunch of Ma- or, i mean not mai yeah. but sadako sadako's i mean kind of because they're or gonna, just sadako because that gonna infect I'm, the world yeah, yeah. and it's like they wanted even, it to be very uniform the whole yeah. world to be uniform then there's no like they have a tape, suffering they have stuff. the book they're publishing the book yeah that's gonna and be. they're gonna adapt the book into a movie to put in theaters yeah. so it's like a wide release yeah so it is a pretty crazy ending but i kind of mm-hmm. like where it went and i'm interested to see where that goes in the next book yeah but before we get to that um start talking about the movie yeah more about the more. spiral movie uh like you said it follows the book pretty well um, yeah we both liked ending. that one more than the uh the the ringu 2 movie yeah i definitely which did. is surprising because it didn't do as well i can yeah i can sort of understand because my it's less my of a horror it's movie. less of a horror movie like mm-hmm. the way that the ring that, that the first ring movie ended with her crawling out of the out of the tv it like Iconic. it had escalated to that point so you expect it to get even you know go even further to horror with the second movie and then but it, slows it doesn't down. Yeah. it slows down it's like a it's kind of like melodramatic yeah. during a lot of the movie um, but i liked it i, I mean, did too you know i, like like, the, I was surprised i, was I like, like how um it's kind of uh, it's cheesy you know is, because but, it's from 1998 but but i really like uh uh hiroyuki sonata as ryuji who's like haunting him the whole time kind of (laughs) like when they're dissecting him and then he like wakes up and he looks down at his open cadaver and kind of sits up yeah i don't know that was cool and then every once in a while he appears in the back the last one i was gonna say is the autopsy thing Mm -hmm. definitely was the horror thing um and it continues from the thing about actually all these movies is so many people have psychic powers in all the movies that's what it's i was not in the say. books everybody has some kind of psychic power including in which one which movie is it is it uh i think it's ringu 2 where the where the kid um oh. has like psychic blast powers at one point yeah and he like blasts that is ringu the, too yeah. yeah that's why it's not as good they're in the <laughs> hospital and he looks at the cops or whatever and <laughs> yeah like shoots a blast and they fall on? down and they're like he's a monster yeah. get him <laughs> Like but but everybody it continues from the first ring movies where people touch each other and they have a vision yeah you know i noticed that in in spiral uh my takano has it dr yeah. andu's all sad and then he, she touches him and she says uh when i touch someone i feel what she say i know what they're thinking yeah and that at that moment i was like why are they in the first one ryuji has the shining and now my takano has <laughs> yeah. the shining like why yeah. but that's even in the american one right the kid uh, kind of does that, and yeah. then she also has these little flashes when when people get grabbed by the ring. Oh yeah, you know by Sadako. Well, but, it's not Sadako; it's Samara. Samara, they yeah. get grabbed. But that's the thing in the American one; they kind of write it off as like once you're infected, like Samara is communicating through you, and she's yeah. giving you those hints. Mm-hmm. Whereas I feel like in the Japanese one, it's just like Ruji has these powers. Yeah, and Mai yeah. does too for some reason. It just expands the universe of clearly it's a universe in which people have psychic powers because Sadako, Sadako and her does. mother did right. Yeah, so and everyone has so it to a degree. now just more people have it. They just I don't know added that and just, continued yeah, no, that on. Not too crazy, but the thing that I didn't like about Ringu too, mm-hmm. because you mentioned the psychic blast thing. <laughs> yeah. I feel like maybe because Spiral didn't perform well, I feel like from there they tried too hard to make it a scary movie. We got to make it creepy. The kid's a monster now. And it's like... (laughs) There was some cool stuff that I liked about it. That's why it wasn't so so bad for me. You rated it much lower, I think. What'd you give that? Five. Five. That's my lowest of all of them. I gave it a a 6.1, which is still my lowest of all of these. Okay. Um, And... Uh, but but it's because of the, some of the creepy stuff that I liked. I like them bringing in that the weird thing about the water, um, where like oh, yeah. the paper absorbs the water differently yeah, after it's after been they just like they look at it basically. They psychic something it. into it. Yeah, uh, I don't that's know pretty what it interesting. Is. But it's interesting, and then like climbing up out of the well um, with Sadako coming after them <laughs> and stuff. Those are pretty good. Which is actually a scene they did almost the same in the ring, the American the ring, ring too. Yeah, ring that's two. true. And wait, was um, it this one? When they're Ringu too, when they're reconstructing the skull. Oh yeah, that is right. Yeah, I liked that. Yeah, yeah. and that's what she kind of looked like in the well too. Yeah, she looked she's almost like, like a, a clay person because yeah. they're putting the clay around the skull. I yeah. did like that. Yeah, yeah. so there's some that. cool, creepy stuff in it. That's why it wasn't so bad. You know, six point yeah. one. You know, it was serviceable. But yeah, I think you're right that they they kind of went a little too far. 
Yeah, um, I just think it tried too hard to make it scary, and then and the the story kind of suffers from that, having it make sense. Um, but yeah, I was more invested at the beginning of Ringu too because it wasn't based on the book, so I didn't know where I was going to go. Yeah. Yeah, and it does. And did you notice it has a good amount of stuff that were even even in the first American ring? Yeah, like, like the mental hospital. Yeah, the mental hospital. Yeah, yeah she's exactly. afraid of the TVs. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, was like, oh, was... so they watched Ringu and Ringu Two yeah. to make the first. American And it almost ring. seemed like um, when they're uh, doing experiments on that girl who's in the mental hospital, Tom- Tomoko's friend, oh, yeah. who saw her die f- from the ring, they're doing experiments on her. That was reminiscent of the flashbacks of them doing experiments on, on Samara. Samara in the American totally ring. True. Like yeah. that room is like the same kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so it's like they, you know, because uh, Gore Verbinski or whoever, yeah. the writers of the, um, um, the American, American Ring, uh, both those movies were already out. So they could take from both of them, yeah. put them in the first one and then save some for the second one, you know. Yeah. Um, well, that brings us to The Ring 2. The Ring 2, Should yeah. I that one? Uh, yeah, I liked it more than Ringu 2, but not as much as Spiral. Mm-hmm. Um Again, for me, my main thing is I feel like they tried too hard to make it just a scary, creepy movie. Um, you know, the kid being creepy again. Yeah. And then by the end, my biggest gripe is the end where it's like, it seems like Samara's just a monster for the sake of being a monster and her backstory doesn't matter anymore. Because like, why is she following all the clues? And then yeah. the conclusion is, oh, she just wants a mother, but I'm not your mother. So fuck you. Stay in the well forever. Yeah. Like, she's not a monster. Like, why is that the conclusion mm. to the movie? I know she's just trying to save her kid. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense, but... Yeah, I don't know if they were trying to do the thing um, that's kind of in the book, in the first book, right? Where they're like, oh, she just needs to be saved. And then it's yeah. like, nah. Oh, she's, yeah, it's kind of... She a, is also kind of bad, you know? That's true. They the were, first they, book is, does do the that. The first book does they that. They think they saved her, but they They think really they saved her, but her. they really released her that's and true. released the virus. It just happened over two movies in this one. Um, yeah. Uh, what I did like about the ring too is, um, I mean, there's some cool visual stuff and like, yeah, that's kind of why I still had it higher. And I'm only reason it's higher than, uh, Ringu spiral is, uh, because again, same reason I like the American ring better is it is as a movie, it kind of holds up better over time. Mm. Like the, any special effects and the quality of it hold up a little bit better I really that's why it's the, just a little bit better i really like the bathtub scene when it's like flooding and she goes in there and, and the water's all the on the ceiling, ceiling. Yeah. and you see the drips going up and mm-hmm. then it all falls in a sheet that does that was cool um, yeah i liked the um the idea to the dead don't sleep idea where like they can talk to each other if they're asleep in their, in their dreams because the dead don't sleep it's kind of cheesy but i don't it know is, it's a little bit another cool cheesy idea. thing that i liked was um they brought back the idea of the kid calling her rachel and made it oh, so that's how she knows. That's how she knew he was possessed. It was yeah. Sadako because but she, she called, said, he, he says called mommy. Mommy, yeah. And he's like, and she's like, yeah, wait, what? you're not my son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was interesting, the deer thing, kind of similar to the horse in the first movie, just the fact that yeah. the deer are attacking her. Yeah, that was a kind of a, a creepy part. Yeah, kinda. and the kid knows it. He's like, don't he's stop, like, don't keep stop, driving. keep going, yeah. And then they all come and attack. Yeah. Oh, and shout out uh, Sissy Spacek. Oh, yeah. As, as, as Evelyn, the um, adoptive mother yeah. in the place. I thought that was cool. Like, Well, she was Sadako's biological mother. Was that the biological yeah, mother? Yeah, oh, okay. she was adopted by the other parents. Oh, by the, the nun people, the people in the... Were they nuns, the people at that place? No, uh, what do you, well, like the place that uh, Oh, yeah, mom, no, 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 like the, the parents, parents from the first the movie. from the first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah Evelyn was from the other place. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that was cool when she went there and uh, I, know, I, I was like, I was wait, there, she looks familiar, like, wait, is that Carrie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, another interesting thing though, right, is, um, the, is spy, the Spiral movie and, uh, Ringu 2 both have, um, Hiroyuki, uh, Sonata, Sonata in them. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, they both had s- They same both characters. had the same Mai Takano yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Which um, is kind of, it seems like a weird choice. Yeah. But I guess it had to be that way because they made both of the, the first, first movies movie. at the same time. So obviously they kept the same characters. Yeah. But then they remade a sequel that had to have the same characters in it. So they have to have the same yeah. actors I in it. I think the idea it's there is that thing. Spiral is not canon anymore. They're like, yeah, that they're one like, didn't happen. Let's just forget about this yeah. one. Yeah. Because also the weirder one for me is that Asakawa is alive now in Ringu 2. She's back. 
Oh right? yeah. And she was supposed to be dead in Spiral cuz she oh, gets yeah. in the car crash. So they yeah. just totally said that didn't happen. Yeah, Here's that's what true. Actually happened. Um yeah, and it's it's even more it, it seems like it would be even more weird at the time other than I guess nobody watched Spiral the yeah. movie because they only came out a year later. Yeah. You know, the the sec, the remake. Yeah. You know, it was so close to together that so they didn't really need to pretend it didn't happen. They were just like, no one watched it. Let's try guess, again. Yeah. Make a different sequel. Yeah, probably people could have people could have seen that name and not even thought it was related. Then yeah. you see a ring too, you know. Mm, anyway. Yeah, that's a difference. Final recommendations. Yeah. Welcome back if you happen to skip spoilers. I'll give my final recommendation first because mm. I gave my ratings first. Um, the book Spiral is definitely worth a read, especially if you like the first one. Yeah, read the second one. See what happens next. It's a good book. Um, and out of the movies, I would say you could skip Ringu 2. I think Spiral's the better sequel of the Japanese ones. So if you Mm -hmm. liked the first Japanese movie, I would say watch Spiral as the sequel and pretend Ringu 2 never happened. Uh, and yeah, I mean, if you like horror movies, you like the first The Ring of the American movies, watch the sequel too. I didn't even know there was one. So, uh, I don't know. It was cool to see a little follow-up to the American movie, too. Yeah. Um, so, my recommendation, I guess, um, uh, and I consumed them all in the same order. You know, we both did. So, I actually say only read the book. Only read the book. There's too much. You're going to get confused between what's in what the stuff is in what thing. Very good The point. book is so much better than the any of the movies. Just read the book. You don't need That's to... True. I mean... Obviously, for me, the the second movie didn't wasn't interesting enough. You know, it did, I wasn't interested enough to watch it back in the day after watching the first Ring movie. So that's true. You know, uh, it's not. I don't. I don't think you need to watch them. <laughs> I, I won't it. argue with that too much, unless you're a super horror movie buff <laughs> yeah. and you need to watch them all. Yeah, the yeah. books are definitely better so far. Um, so now let's talk about whether these four things are overrated or underrated. Uh, let's talk about the book first, Spiral by Koji Suzuki. Yeah, I gave that an 8.7. I gave it a solid 7. That average is a 7.85. Good score. Good score. Um, which, uh, and then the uh, Goodreads score was a 7.6 out of 10. So A little bit underrated. I think it's a little bit underrated. A little bit underrated. Um, and then the Spiral movie. Uh, yeah, I gave that one a 6.2. I gave it a 6.6. Average is 6.4. Uh, no ratings no on rating Rotten Tomatoes, Tomatoes, so underrated. Underrated, <laughs> yeah, because it's, I don't know. We think it's all right. We think but it's all right. Yeah, so unjustly ignored. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, which means underrated. Yeah. Uh, and then they made Ringu 2, which uh, I gave that one a 5. And I gave it a 6.1 for an average of 5.55. Pretty dismal score there. Yeah. Um, but the Rotten Tomatoes on Rotten Tomatoes, the critics critics have it at zero, zero, and the audience has it at fifty one. So we still think it's underrated. Yeah, wow. With a five point five, basically, <laughs> we think it's underrated. It's pretty bad, but it's not that bad. Yeah, we don't think it's good, clearly, but it's like it's overly hated on. It looks yeah. like, especially by the critics. <laughs> and then zero. The American Ring two. Yeah, I give that a five point five. And I gave it a six point eight average there. Kind of pulled up a little six point one five. Pretty medium. Yeah. Um, critics have it at twenty. Our audience has it at thirty-three. So also underrated. quite a bit underrated. Yet again, it's so not the, that bad. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we don't think any of the movies are great. No. Or even really that good. No. But I am surprised. I didn't even recommend it that, that you watch them. Yeah, you said <laughs> skip them all, but we still think they're underrated. Yeah. I, I am a little bit surprised that they didn't catch on a little bit more. Like after all the. Uh, Paranormal Activity movies they made. Seems yeah. like they could have done a similar thing with The Ring where, you know, maybe they're not critically maybe they acclaimed. they were b- but... before their time. Paranormal mm-hmm. Activity came out later. I want to say 2009 or something like that. Yeah. So that was after. four years later. Four years after Ring, The Ring 2 American mm-hmm. version. So maybe they were about 10 years too early, all these movies. Maybe. And, uh, I mean, that's just more credit to Koji Suzuki for writing it in the early 90s. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the books, there yeah. are more. So the next one by Koji Suzuki after Spiral is called Loop. Uh, we are excited to read yeah. this next. And uh, there are more movies too. So maybe we'll watch 
more movies and talk about it here in the yep. future. Yep, and as as always, a reminder that we've got some books you can buy. Um, we're gonna, we have the links down in the description. Down there. Go check those out. Yeah, and uh, as for Spiral and the three <laughs> movies related to it, somewhat viewer, you tell me which of those is better the book or the movies let us know in the comments below uh stay tuned by clicking the bell and subscribe to this channel and tell your friends to tune in too click another video now thank you bye